certainly tried to do it. What determines my choice in working with the cinematographer is a sense that what that person is providing is something special and rare, uh, something which is unique. I think that that in some ways defines my relationship with any talent, that I want to sense that what they're bringing is something which is very particular to their own sensibility. And um, I've had the privilege of working with uh, Paul Sarasi on, on, on most of my features, and we've had a collaboration for 20 years. Uh, th but there certainly have been other cinematographers that I've been lucky enough to work with, and each of those each of those relationships was based on, a, on an intuitive feeling I had about the person and also uh, sometimes seeing something in their work which resonated and which I felt uh, would enhance what I wanted to do dramatically. Each project demands an approach individual to itself. And so um, I find just from a philosophical point of view, if you impose something, uh, impose a look onto something, uh, you are a bit resisting the material, the, the, the drama of the, of the script. So I, I guess um, for me, it's a kind of gentle balance of imposing something uh, because you, you arrive on any project and every project with your sort of bag of tricks, your the, the things that have worked in the past, uh, your experience uh, tends to help you cut to the chase when you have a, a, a visual problem you need to confront or solve. Um, and yet, I, I, I fear that your approach to solving a, a problem, whether it be lighting or composition, um, it runs the risk of being dead if you don't try to approach it from the perspective of, well, I've never seen this before. What, what, what's, uh, what's the best way to solve this here and now?